welcome back to On the Road here in Santa Maria. We're at Downtown Fridays. Well, let's go across the freeway for a story about Pioneer Valley High School. What began with just a few tomato plants last year at the high school has quickly turned and blossomed into a new program this year that's planting the seeds of a very bright future for a special group of students there. Something is growing at Pioneer Valley High School. And it's building valuable skills for special education students. I really wanted to get the kids re-engaged with um, working with things, building things, and putting stuff together. To do that, a new transitional class was created this school year. Let's remember some of the rules that are up on By instructor board. Jesse Grimm. He wanted students to receive a hands-on education. Let's get a kid with who you know, is completely blind and put them on a chop saw. That makes a lot of people scared. It makes me excited to give the kid that opportunity to do it. That's something these students truly enjoy and appreciate. People with uh, disabilities have the, the right to, to do stuff like this, and especially people with visual impairment. Students are in charge of a garden and small workshop taking them outside, out of the classroom, and into an exciting learning environment. I do like it. Why and, is that? Uh, because you get to uh, experience new things, like uh, putting soil in the pots and watering plants. The students have built everything you see here in the garden, including these planter boxes and two greenhouses. It really shows you the practical skills they've acquired in the program. It lets you kind of feel like you're at a, like you're working at an actual job. This is just a little example of what I could do. The knowledge they gain here gives them confidence, independence, and real-world experience. Getting your hands on the equipment that we use out here is um, pretty important for them to just kind of understand how to put together projects, critical thinking skills, understanding what it's like to work on a job site. A place these students will be ready to be at and thrive in upon graduation. I'm very happy to, to be out here and I feel like people with disabilities could could do a little bit more. No, certainly can. Those students so excited about that program. Now, they've already received some donations from the community. They've applied for some grants as well. All the money that they raise will go to grow and improve that program. It's fabulous. You know, Melissa, they gave me a mint plant and a lettuce plant. They wouldn't let me leave without taking those. I just want to tell all the students I've been watering those uh, pretty much daily, and they are looking great. You know, th that's so wonderful, and it's such a great program. And, you know, if you have some, donate, you know. I mean, they applied for the grants, like you said, but I know people out there can come together and help that because it's just such a wonderful program. Absolutely. And it ties in, you know, I love, we all love local produce, growing our own stuff, and that's what it's all about, you know. We have it all here. here. Yeah, exactly. And I have to tell you, first of all, it's getting packed. People yes. are coming. Second of all, the smells. It smells so good out here. It's a mixture yeah. of sweet and savory, and I'm watching what people are eating, and it's making me hungry and I jealous. I told you about that smell three weeks ago when I was yeah. out here, and I, I, wasn't, uh, I wasn't lying. You did. It's, it's great. But. It's a good stuff. Well, it is getting packed, and certainly, obviously, parking is an issue. Uh, Claire Anderson figured out what the city did to help plan for this event. I'm here with Austin O'Dell with the city, who's part of the trolley program to get people to and from. Tell me a little bit about what this is all about. Well, uh, the city of of Santa Maria put together this downtown project. It's a great event. Every Friday there's a farmer's market and there's food trucks, there's vendors, there's food. It's just wonderful. I was here last weekend and it was just fabulous. Um, but anyway, we wanted to provide some type of um, trolley service from our parking garage mm -hmm. to the event itself. I don't know, around 5 o'clock it gets so um, congested. Right? Yeah. Um, parking gets filled up. Um, by five and so this is a way for people to park um, over by town center west uh, or town center mall mm -hmm. over by sears we pick them up and we drive them right in front and give them a front row seat perfect and it's completely free for the community right now you go park your car and it's a great way and it's so cool this is a great uh vehicle where'd you guys get it uh we got it um, last year uh from uh, hometown trolley and it's a beautiful piece of equipment i know it's kind of fun to just ride on it we're actually riding it around downtown santa maria right now so uh this is going to be available for how long for people um it'll be available during the hours of 4 30 to uh, 8 30 in the evening and it'll be going through all the during the duration of the uh, downtown fridays and and it's fun if you don't 
use it to for parking just, just take a ride it's it's fun i know this is so great so thank you for being with us and this is part of on the road actually on the road driving in santa maria You gotta love it. I mean, who doesn't love being on the trolley? I've ridden that trolley, and I mean, the kids especially will like that. So the no excuse, come on down to downtown Friday. Get down here, and whether it's the bacon wrap hot dogs, the waffles, the tamales, the kettle corn, oh. um, I don't know what, which smell you'd like to choose, but Jason, I know we have important weather to get to, but it's.